In today's video, we're going to perform the ultimate torture test between two drills, the Ryobi and the Milwaukee. All right, here we go. So I have to say, I have received a lot of pushback from you guys about the disparaging remarks and comments I have made about the Ryobi brand. And you know, it did, it did resonate with me a little bit because I, I, I thought about some of the comments that I read and, and the truth of the matter is that I have never owned a Ryobi tool and I've never purchased one because I've had this bias in my mind that they were always a lower end tool, a poor quality tool. And coming out of construction and, and my dad being a contractor, you know, quality tools and tools that were you know, made for professionals, that always really appeals to me. And I never considered that with a Ryobi. But many of you, again, have commented and said, hey, I've been using these things and they're actually really good. And they're at a good price point that they're probably, if I'm not mistaken, they probably the most popular tools at let's say our big box stores like Home Depot. It seems to me that they have more variety there and they certainly um, are front and center. And it appears to me, you know, I see a lot of guys that are kind of homeowner type of tools that are really going to these because of the price points really appealing. So if you remember from our last drill test, we put the Milwaukee up against the DeWalt and the Milwaukee absolutely destroyed it. I mean, it was just a no, comp no competition. The, the DeWalt, its chuck broke and it started to smoke and it eventually just stripped out its gears. The, tri the Milwaukee absolutely crushed it, crushed it. So we're gonna find out today <laughs> if the Ryobi does any better than Milwaukee. Let's take a couple a look at the uh, specifics of these two tools here. So here you have it. So very similar in many ways. What we have here are two drills. These are gonna fall into the compact category. These are not the, the baddest, toughest, uh, gnarliest drills that, that of course that either one of the, I think either one of the companies makes. They are the compact. They're gonna be the smaller size, but they're equal in that way. They're both, what, 18 volt lithium batteries. They have very similar amp, was it amp hours or, you know, t batteries are, are comparable, but we're, what we're looking at here is kind of the build and the differences in them. So right away we can see, if we listen to them, listen to this. Oops, here's the Ryobi. Here's the Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I do like this tool. I was not a Milwaukee guy um, until I tested this drill against the DeWalt and I have actually been using this in you know, my daily stuff. This is the first one I grab. I really like this drill. It is very good quality. The runtime on the battery is not super great, but it's really great for small jobs and tight little areas and I, I just like it. It fits my hand good. It's very ergonomic. It just seems to be a great little tool. So some of the differences I can see right away, of course, we have a plastic chuck versus a metal chuck. We have our clutch, you know, all our drills are gonna have our clutch system. This one goes to what, 20, 24? Well, man, the Milwaukee only goes to 16. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything, you know, of course, they're the same thing for the clutches. We both have two speeds, right? We've got uh, number one and two, our low gear, high gear. We can see that the Milwaukee is a little bit nicer f form factor. It's going to be a little bit more compact. You know, an extra inch there goes a long ways in working with tight areas. Both of these are gonna have, a, uh, they have a light. Yeah, a light. So the Milwaukee's got a light here up on top, which is close to your work area. That's kind of nice. This could actually be better because one problem with these lights is that they do cast a shadow when it's underneath the chuck like this. And I found that when you're over top the drill, which is where you're typically working, it casts a shadow and when you're working under the sink. Sometimes that's hard to, to see and you have to turn the drill a little bit. This one here is angling up. You know, that might be a better system, I don't know. What I really like about this is the battery tester. I can grab it and see, you know, if I, look, I'm gonna take the drill and I don't wanna take the charger, I can really check quickly to see how much charge I have in the battery. That is very much appreciated. We're not gonna have that here in the, in the Ryobi. Uh, we're gonna have a tool holder here. Do we have a tool holder for the Milwaukee? I don't see one unless, is that one in the end there? Is that what that's for? Maybe, I don't know what that's for. I do, li I do like to have the tool holder to have that bit, that standard. I've used that, I just use it all the time. It's not gimmicky. And we have a magnet here, which is kind of nice, where if you have a bit, you could keep it there. How good is the magnet? Pretty good, that's nice. So if I'm working with a couple bits to be able to throw that down there, that's actually a super nice feature that I've never had on a drill before. But I can tell right now, as long as it's strong enough, I'm gonna like it. One thing that I do like on the Ryobi here is it has a level bubble. And that's kind of nice when you wanna drill horizontal holes that are 
Does it work? Ooh, it's, it's got like a thick oil in there, so it's really slow. That's actually nice. That's a good idea because the old spirit levels that I have in some of my other drills, the fluid is so, so thin, the alcohol, that the bubble bounces around when the drill's working and it's, you know, the drill is, the bit's jumping around. It's not very useful, but this here, they've kind of dampened it or slowed it down with a thicker material. It's clever. Somebody was thinking right there. Um, apart from that, the battery profiles, you can see, it's got a, this battery is much bigger but it has, it's a, has you know, less, it's gonna have less power in it by just a little bit. I think this was like 1.5, how do we rate that in the mill? The Ryobi was, what is it, 1.3 amp hours versus 1.5 amp, amp hours. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage there. As far as ergonomics and feel, you know, they both feel pretty good actually. It feels pretty good. Of course, this one, this one just feels, it feels more, a little more solid, a little more sturdy, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more rigid, no, not really. Battery, the clamp system on this is a two finger pinch, which is fine, I don't mind that. This here, I have not really enjoyed this. This seems a bit awkward. Um, and maybe it's just a, a training issue for me that I haven't gotten used to it, but it, it, I'm always hunting and looking for it. But uh, we've got some rubber on there that is nice. That keeps it from sliding off of work surfaces. That's really important to me. I had uh, two drills, for example, I was working up on my roof, and I have this one, and I had one that didn't have this rubber on here. And this one, when I would put it on the roof, it didn't go anywhere because it had all that rubber armoring on there. And the one that didn't, it kept sliding off and it slid off a couple times and fell on the ground and the battery fell out and it didn't do it any good. So having that is really nice. Price point, we're looking at about 100, and I think I paid $111 for this on Amazon. And that came with two batteries and a charger. So that's a pretty good value versus the Milwaukee, which was what? Uh, I'll have to annotate the prices, but I think it was around 160 or so. So not a huge price difference, but only got one battery, and not, very, not a very big battery. So let's chuck up uh, our torture device and see what happens when we put these against, against each other. So the torture device is nothing very elaborate. It's just simply two two by fours sections there that are bolted to the table, screwed to the table in a way that they will hold the battery uh, from twisting it out of my hand. I tried to hold them <laughs> last time about broke my arm. So I've developed this little two by four system here to assist me. And then we'll connect them together at the chucks with a piece with a, with a tool bit. And then we'll uh, let them go until one